Okay, our tutorial here is going to be about finding stationary points using a little bit of calculus. The curve that we're going to consider to start with, and we'll consider two curves in this. Our task really is to find these things and decide exactly what they are. Um, this is a cubic curve, which will look something like that. And stationary means points instantaneously going neither up nor down with a zero gradient, that is. So we would expect to find possibly two of those on this cubic curve. And we're going to use calculus to find this, which means that we need to differentiate. We need a dy dx. I'll assume you can differentiate curves like this. x cubed becomes 3x squared minus 3x becomes minus 3 and plus 3 disappears. Gradients 0. So we're looking for this to be 0. This is the way we find stationary points. Let's quickly solve and find those points. Not forgetting the positive and negative square root here. And this is going to lead us to two points, as we expected. 1 and minus 1 are x values. And if we go back to this curve, be careful to go back to the right one, then that will find our points x is 1, y is 1, and x is minus 1, y is 5, and that's from the black curve. Now, we've found the two points. Next thing we need to do is classify these points. Now, we can test stationary points using the second differential, very common use for the second differential. Differentiate again, so looking at the red expression here, 3x squared becomes 6x, minus 3 disappears. The test is to, with our values, x equals 1, to ask ourselves, is the second differential positive or negative? x equals 1, 6x gives us a value greater than zero, and positive second differentials will always tell us we have found a minimum value at x equals minus one. Six x is definitely a negative value, and slightly counterintuitive, I guess, but Negative, less than zero, will always suggest we have found a maximum. So we have two points, a minimum and a maximum. And three expressions here used to evaluate. Let me just show you a quick picture of what's going on here. This is a GeoGebra file that you can have a look at online yourself, which might be easier actually, I think, seen through the screen recorder. It's a little bit a little bit juddery, it's a little bit smoother if you operate it yourself. You see the curve and you see the red tangent line which I can drag along looking at the gradient. We see the dy dx or f dash, an alternative notation, and the second differential in green there, f dash dash. And if I go along to this, there we go, if I go along to that minimum point I can see everything we were talking about. We've got black tells us the point, the red formula, the f dash dy dx equals zero telling me it's stationary and I'm looking at f dash dash greater than zero telling me it's a minimum. Let me just wander along to the there we go, the maximum point and you see the what we were looking for there, the point in black, the f dashed, zero stationary, and the second differential negative, which will tell me maximum. 
And let me just change this curve and I'd like you to have a quick look at the second of the two examples we're doing. There we go, x squared plus 16 over x. I'm going to have to just rescale my axes a little here. And we see the we see the curve there. My values. Let me go and find this value. There it is, and we see lost it. There it is. We see the point two twelve. The in the red there you see the f dashed equals zero confirming it's stationary. And in green, we get a positive value telling me it's a minimum. Now let's just have a quick look at the algebra for this to finish off. So the points of the curve. And if we want to differentiate this, this is much better written to show me the powers. And what I see there is a power of negative 1. To find the points, remember, I need dy dx and x squared 2x minus 1 times 16 and subtract. And to test the points, I'm going to need my second differential, d2y dx squared and 2x minus 2 times minus 16 and subtract 1 from the index. So my test, what I'm, what I'm looking for is for the gradient to be zero. Let me quickly solve this. Okay, there's my x value. And that's going to give me a point 2. Now remember, go back to the correct expression to give you the y value. That will be 2, 12. Testing that point, well, using x equals 2, my second differential, 2 plus 32 divided by x cubed most definitely will give a positive value and positive values tell me that I have found a minimum. And there we go. What we were seeing on the diagram a moment ago. So we have the equation in black here. In red dy dx, first differential, if we find zero gradients we have stationary points and to test those stationary points, we have the very important result that positive second differentials imply minimum and negative second differentials will tell us maximum. And that is our general method for finding and classifying stationary points.